Hey there, I'm Taylor Barefoot, and this is my good friend again behind the camera, Dave Fisher. Uh, we're here in my studio again today with a little bit of time and a lot of overdrive pedals. Um, wanted to thank everyone who sent one in, some friends of ours from the gear page, and uh, some manufacturers sent a couple in for us to try out. Mr. Music down the street uh, here in Alston, Massachusetts gave us a couple to, to use. Um, had some here at the studio, and Dave brought a couple from his place. So uh, we've got 36 <laughs> overdrives here to try out. Um, basically, the, the idea of this video is just to give a baseline comparison. We really found out how difficult it is to make every pedal sound really flattering through the same gear. That's a really hard thing to do, so I don't want people to take away any false readings from this because, you know, as you know, some pedals sound better through humbuckers, some sound better through Telecasters, some sound better with a Marshall, some sound better with a with a Fender style amp. We're, today we're using a Two Rock Classic Reverb with uh, my Linhoff Tilly, which is just one of my favorite guitars and the one I'm most familiar with. And uh, we're using a set of the new Lava Soar cables, which I'm really impressed with. And uh, uh, we're powering it with a uh, fuel tank from T-Rex and just running straight into the amp. We're using, for mics, a Royer 121 and an SM57, close mic'd, then a room mic, which is a uh, 414. We're running into my uh, Shadow Hills mic pre's straight into Pro Tools, uh, same as last time. So we'll just be giving you that as the audio, no, uh, nothing in here after we're done talking. All right, so basically the way we're going to do this is um, I'm just plugging straight into the pedal and straight into the amp, nothing else in between, using the Tele Bridge pickup only just to keep it simple. Um, I'm going to be strumming a chord with the pedal in bypass. Um, then I'm going to engage the pedal with all the controls at noon or zeroed out just to kind of give you a baseline idea of how gainy or how bright the pedal is. It's not the most flattering sound for every pedal by any means, but just a, a starting point. Then I'm going to uh, dial in some settings that we spent a few minutes messing with before we started filming to kind of find how each pedal sort of sounds best with this setup. Um, so I'll quickly get those settings back and then play a few riffs. I tried to just do a few different riffs to encompass a few different things. Um, the first was just some basic chords just some GC's D kind of thing, just to give you a basic idea. And then a more complex chordal thing with some more complex chord tones, just to, so you can hear the complexity and the definition of the pedal with uh, a lot of stuff going on. Then a little lead riff, just so you can hear kind of some single note stuff, kind of going from here to here down the, across all the strings. So um, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll be cool. Thanks.
So this is the part of the video where we are excited to bring you a little special treat. Um, a good friend of Dave and I's up here, uh, Bill Finnegan. Some of you may know him as uh, the guy who built the Klon Centaur Overdrive. Uh, was kind enough to loan us for the afternoon his prototype of his new design. Um, the aesthetics aren't finished yet. The uh, circuit's done, but the outside of the box isn't quite uh, ready to show the world yet. So you'll be seeing it inside a cardboard box, but more importantly, you'll be hearing it. And... Uh, you know, he's not ready to take orders yet, but once he's ready with the whole package, it'll be announced on his website and uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be too long now. So, hope you enjoy this.
Thank you.